My name is Jonathan Gross. I'm an interventional radiologist at NYU Langone Health in New York. This past June, my colleagues and I published a study in JVIR on the environmental impact of interventional radiology. As we all know, climate change is causing hotter weather and more severe droughts, wildfires, and storms. What many of us don't realize is that our activities in medicine are a major contributor to climate change. The US healthcare system generates about 10% of our country's greenhouse gas emissions and is estimated to cause the loss of over 400,000 disability adjusted life years from pollution related diseases. When I read those statistics a few years ago, I wanted to figure out just how much my own practices at the hospital were contributing to climate change. I found several studies which indicated that diagnostic radiology is a major emitter of greenhouse gases due to the large amounts of energy that are needed to power our advanced imaging equipment like MRIs and CTs. But there wasn't any data that I could find on greenhouse gas emissions from interventional radiology. And without that data, it's just impossible to design effective strategies to reduce IR's environmental impact. So I contacted Dr. Cassandra Thiel, a colleague of mine in the Department of Population Health at NYU Langone, and an expert in life cycle assessment. With the help of some very dedicated students, we designed a study to estimate the volume of greenhouse gases emitted by the IR practice at one of our teaching hospitals. We found that over the course of a week, the IR practice at the study hospital generated emissions equivalent to about 23,500 kilograms of carbon dioxide. To give some perspective on this, that's equivalent to the emissions generated by driving an average passenger vehicle about 59,000 miles. It would take 389 uh, young trees 10 years to capture the amount of carbon that this one hospital's IR practice generated over the course of just one week. The largest sources of emissions in our study came from energy used to maintain climate control in the IR suite and from the production and transportation of catheters, wires, sterile drapes, and other surgical supplies that are designed to be used only once and then thrown away. While I initially found our findings a little bit disheartening, to me, there is some good news here. There's a lot of opportunity to decrease our environmental footprint without impacting the quality of care that we provide our patients. For example, we found that more than half of the emissions that were generated by our climate control system were generated at night and during the weekend when the IR suite was rarely occupied. A previously published study showed that, sim that simple interventions in, in OR, like installing occupancy sensors so that the number of air exchanges in the room can be reduced when the OR isn't actually in use, can decrease energy use by about a third. This has absolutely no impact on patient care, but decreases emissions and has the added benefit of saving hospitals money. And studies, shown, studies have shown that taking a mindful approach to the use of, use of surgical supplies, minimizing waste, opening only equipment that we need for a particular procedure, and choosing reusable rather than single-use supplies whenever possible can reduce our emissions by up to, 80, to 70%. This more thoughtful approach shouldn't impact the quality of care that we provide our patients, but it should substantially decrease the impact that we have on the environment. And while the focus of our study was on IR, I think that our findings are relevant to diagnostic radiologists as well. The general principle that we need to be mindful about the use of resources, that we should use only what we need when we need it, applies to every specialty in medicine. In diagnostic radiology, this means that we should turn off lights and workstations when they're not in use, that we should save the fewest number of images possible when we're performing studies in order to minimize the amount of energy that will be needed in the future to permanently store them, and that we should prioritize the use of ultrasound over CT or MRI whenever possible. It means that we should work with our vendors and with our hospital administrators to improve the efficiency of our imaging equipment and of our practices. And it means <clears throat> that we should advocate for research and for policies which will help us to decrease the harm that we do to the environment while we're trying to do good for our patients. There are a lot of opportunities here. It's an area that's wide open for research, and it's an area where our efforts can have an outsized impact on public health and can leave the world a better place for all of us. Thank you.